The Wagner Group mercenaries who seized the Russian city of Rostov on Don on Saturday in a failed mutiny included at least three convicted criminals, a Reuters review of facial recognition software, court records, and social media showed. Almost all of the fighters who took part in the gravest threat to Russian President Vladimir Putin's rule to date had their faces covered and so could not be identified. But Reuters reporting shows that some of them had previously been in jail, underlining how the Kremlin's decision to allow Prigazin to recruit thousands of mercenaries from prisons across the country last year has come back to haunt it. Wagner fighters took control of the southern port and logistical hub for Russia's war in Ukraine on Saturday morning. The mercenary forces leader, Yevgeny Prigazin, ordered his men to march on Moscow before they turned back in the failed bid to oust his longtime rival, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. Wagner mercenaries, among them ex-prisoners, have been fighting in Ukraine since Russia's full-scale invasion began, notably in the city of Bakhmut, which has been the bloodiest battle so far and a rare victory in Russia's stalling campaign.